The start of the school year is just about a month away now, believe it or not. And while students continue to enjoy their summer break, educators are hard at work preparing for a bright start to the school year. Yeah, dozens traveled from across the state to collaborate for an educational conference, learning new strategies. New this morning, reporter Cameron Brewer joins us after speaking with educators throughout the state. Yeah, good morning, Cameron. What uh, was this conference all about? Well, good morning, Josh and Alicia. There's a lot going on at the conference. As a matter of fact, it lasts for two days, and it's all about literacy and improving the way students are reading across the state. Many educators from all over participated. Take a look. Time is ticking until the start of a new school year, which is why dozens of North Dakota educators gathered at this year's literacy conference in Bismarck to learn the science of reading to make it more proficient. There's been a huge impact in learning for students. They're coming in. Um, some have spent a year at home learning and are lacking skills that they need to become better readers. That's why educators are receiving some help from an author, reading interventionist, and longtime educator Carrie Yates. Reading comprehension actually begins long before reading begins. Um, as from the time we're babies and people are talking to us. Yates helps teachers bridge the gap of reading and comprehension for students by using key strategies and techniques in the classrooms. It, it calls on the brain to do some unnatural things because although the human brain is naturally wired for language, reading is a human invention. And it's not just educators taking different approaches, but also early childhood education centers and programs helping train future educators on the horizon. The, the training and the professional development that's being provided, it definitely benefits our faculty members to assist our future students to be successful reading teachers in the classroom. So today is the final day of the conference and I just think it's very important to come up with different strategies. You know, everybody mm -hmm. has their own unique way of learning. And I think reading is so important to, mm -hmm. to, to have a tool to where educators are able to help students grasp, grasp it yeah. more, better than how others do. What were some of the strategies that you saw that stuck out to you? Um, well, that's a good question, Josh. Many strategies. Uh, I think one thing that uh, an educator shared with me that they learned, and I thought this is fascinating, how you can use different tools in mm -hmm. classrooms, like a, a like a slink. Yeah, the slinky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's uh, the slinky is pretty cool. How you can just use right. that and maybe form like a letter or a vowel or mm. just different techniques out there. Tactile, like you were saying, the different types of learning. You got the tactile learners. You got the learners who see. You got learners who, the people who learn more from hearing. So it's it's awesome that they're expanding the horizons. A lot of teachers there. A lot of teachers. I think it. Uh, I was told about 300 wow. educators might have been there, and so I know this probably is uh, great to have. You know, this uh, this week, especially mm -hmm. looking back two years ago, you know, a lot yeah. changed with learning. So everybody's back in the classrooms now. So they're kind of having to, you know, adjust again. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be here before we know it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Cameron.